on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i'm going to talk i'm going to talk in this video today about samara weaving possibly joining the team of screen 5 now as we all know screen 5 is being helmed by the creators or the filmmakers responsible for ready or not which also starts samara weaving in the titular role as our main character of uh, having be being a newlywed in the new this new wealthy family and that involves playing some type of sick twisted sadistic game of hide and seek now a lot of fans and myself included were already speculating who else might be joining david arquette in regards to the cast of screen five because for, for the time being still the only person we know who 100 percent will be on board is david arquette uh, we know that Matt Benelli and Tyler Gillett, the directors of Radio or Not, are directing Screen 5. We know Radio Silence is going to be behind it. We now know Paramount Pictures will be distribu distributing it in sometime early in 20 sometime in 2021. They're hoping to get it out by 2021. And then the last video I did talk about specific news related stuff. Uh, it was stated that we will be finding out new casting details in the coming weeks since the movie set to start filming or looking to start filming this summer now samara weaving could actually be in screen five of course anybody could be in screen five but we're talking specifically about samara i could easily see uh, her being cast to kind of get audiences hyped and excited similar to how drew barrymore got casted and she was used to kind of build hype and excitement towards the original screen now what ultimately would end up happening of course is just like drew barrymore we are going to end up in a situation where if you guys are going to get excited about finding out samara weaving is going to be in screen five but then when screen five comes she's going to be the opening kill i could easily see them turning the tables and kind of trying to reimagine or re catch, catch light, lightning in the bottle one more time with another iconic opening kill with an actress that many people are invested in samara weaving her performance in ready or not is one of the better performances out of the horror out of several horror films that came out last year she gave an amazing performance in the netflix film the babysitter she is in this new i've seen her recently in another movie recently with daniel radcliffe she does an amazing job there but yes everybody is like not everybody but there's a big big following for samara weaving to be in screen five so i wouldn't be too shocked if she does end up being one of the cast members but when screen five releases you guys are going to be in for a twist she's going to be our opening kill because i feel like what's going to end up happening is we'll get into everybody's already in the idea that scream has opening kills maybe they ditch that or maybe we don't have an opening kill but we have a a set of opening kills because i've made videos talking about how i think we should have multiple people die in the opening of screen five maybe they don't do it but let's say that they are that's what people are expecting we're expecting an opening kill so i feel like a lot of people will go into the movie see not knowing what's going to happen of course but you know someone's about to die in the opening and then the first person you see on screen that's how you know they're going to be the opening kill so then you're going to go in there the phones let's say we have a the the typical scream opening phone ringing or something to that effect uh or an outing at a movie theater or some type of local gathering something i hope they do something different besides just in a house being terrorized or something like that uh, but you see that you see that the star that's opening the movie is samara weaving and then that's how audiences will catch on that the person you guys were most excited to see in this film and that you wanted to be in the film so badly or one of them anyway she is now going to be your opening kill i think samara weaving has a good chance of being in screen five i think there's a good chance that she might actually be the opening kill um and the role that i think she would have in screen five let's say she's kirby's best friend from college or something because again i think screen five will be set a couple of years after screen four which will have given us time for kirby assuming kirby is alive again all my videos are assuming kirby is alive she could have gone to college by now and she made a couple of friends along the way friends who of course would be joining the cast for screen five and i feel like that's who we'll be focusing on kirby and a, a couple of her friends from college or some other friends she had from high school who we never got to actually meet outside of just jill and the other people we saw her around but samara weaving could be a college friend of kirby's and then she could be the opening kill in screen five that's honestly what i see happening i see because i i see so many people online 
thinking about this idea of Samara Weaving being in Screen 5, how Samara Weaving needs to be casted in the film, how she needs to have some type of role in it since it's being done by the same people responsible for Ready or Not. That's basically just fan service at that point, honestly, in my opinion. But they're going to they're gonna throw it in your face. She's going to be the opening kill. I could easily see that happening. That'll be something... Uh, you wanted Samara Weaving, but now Samara Weaving is going to be the opening kill. I could easily see something like that happening. <laughs> I think she would be most fit in a role of playing a friend of Kirby's. Maybe she could be Kirby's sister. I'd stick with the friend option, in my honest opinion. Um, I could easily see her being the opening kill, being a, a friend of Kirby's. Maybe she's the kill that brings Kirby or sparks Kirby's reasoning to return to her hometown because again the synopsis details a woman returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes and then what I also wanted to talk about was let's say Samara Weaving is our opening kill but Samara Weaving in a twist of events that we find out as the movie's progressing she was not the first kill she did not spark this um let's say that the this killer has been actually active for quite some time maybe a week or two and the body count is already pretty high like five people have been killed in the past two weeks in woodsboro so now the town is on a curfew the town has a curfew um and that could be a twist that could be an, a, a twist because usually our opening kills in scream they're the ones that are the first victims they're the ones that launched the spree i feel like it would be very refreshing if in scream 5 samara weaving while she is our opening kill along the way in the film we'll find out she wasn't the actual first victim she was she was just the opening kill this killer's been active in the town for almost two weeks now killed five people the town has a curfew and that, that would just be like a different a different twist a different spin from the usual because usually the opening kill is the person who ignites the killing spree they're the person who was the first person killed the first person to be a ghost face victim but in screen five or opening kill while they are the opening kill they're not going to be the first victim in this in this new film they're just going to be one of the victims that's our opening kill because it's the traditional screen route we have an opening kill <laughs> i just think that would be very refreshing and very different to finally have a situation where the opening kill turns out to not actually be the first victim in this new killing spree we've had several killings occur off screen so that's just my honest opinion on what i could ultimately see happening i do believe samara weaving herself would be a brilliant addition to the cast i think she would have a she would bring a lot if they do something different and she's not the opening kill she would be she could she would just be like a i feel like she would be a nice addition um she has several comical moments in ready or not so i feel like she could possibly be some of our comic relief in screen five blending that line between horror and comedy so i think if we get samara weaving in screen five how i see it playing out i see i see it playing out as the as her being the opening kill but of course if she's not the opening kill she just she would just be a nice addition to the cast some a new a new fresh face possibly somebody who does not have to die they can uh build up again i've always made videos stating that i feel like they need to build up our cast the supporting cast she could be one of the returning people if they do a scream six or whatever they want to do beyond screen five but the, those are all my opinions on this tomorrow weaving situation and i just want to make a quick video about it because i know again i've seen so many people talking about the idea of her possibly being in the movie and i'm on i'm on board with that I just don't see it playing out the way you're thinking it's going to be because you we're all so many of you are excited and hyped about the possibility of her being in the movie. Well, when she gets cast, I feel like a lot of you will be not some of you will theorize it, but you'll be get, you'll be under the impression that she's going to be around for a long period of time. They might actually make it where you think the movie is all about Samara Weaving, but then she could end up being the opening kill, similar to how Drew Barrymore was the opening kill in scream the original scream and i think that would be a nice callback given that the movie itself would be coming out on the on the 25th anniversary of the original movie but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram uh you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future also, down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Join that group and discuss any horror-related content. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.